Hey guys. Well, today we are finally back at it for the full review of the ATI GSG-16. This is the GSG's version of an MP5 clone. It's not, uh, as you can see, it's modeled different. So I will talk a little bit about the Walther that is an actual H&K product made by Walther versus this and we'll get into that in a minute but I do want to ask you guys if you haven't seen the first look and you guys are interested to go and check out the link in the description below for that or the card up here so that, that you guys can see this gun first in action. Now let's go and talk a little bit about the Walther H&K MP5 22. Now I have one and if you guys want to go and see a video on that, I will throw a link in the description below, but we're not really here to review that gun. We're here to talk about this one. So kind of what happened is Walther and GSG, German Sporting Guns, wanted to create a 22 version of the iconic MP5. And they both came and brought it to market. However, Walther actually got the rights to create it in its image and ATI didn't so we have this gun now this is their version it has been modified to kind of look like it resemble it enough that you go that kind of reminds me of an mp5 but it's far enough away from the mp5 that it's not an mp5 clone or 22. One of the big things that I really like about this one over the Walther is that it does come with the Picatinny rail and a lot of you guys have made comments saying, well, you know, mine didn't come with the Picatinny rails here. And you guys may say, well, I got the M-Log version, and that's that's cool, but all of them are the M-Log version. These rails pop off, and they have that M-Lock underneath it. So this gun has the ability to go from Picatinny rail to M-Lock just by removing rails, for those who want to know. Now... I love this gun. I probably shoot this gun in 22 as my second top gun that I shoot, followed behind by my bolt action from Savage. And the reason is, is this one is just so much fun to shoot. Now, I've got 22 rounds in the magazine, so why don't we go and throw some lead down range and kind of share it in action, shall we? It did come with these two 22 round magazines, and we'll talk about magazines more in depth in a second. That was really 22? Man, felt more like five, maybe six rounds. All right, so let's talk about the magazine. So like I said, it does come with these two 22 round magazines. If you live in a state that can have more than 10 round magazines. For those of you guys who can't, there are compliant magazines or compliant guns that only have the 10 round magazines. So you can go and get the magazines that you need for the state that you live in, which makes it nice so that way that we all can play and have this gun. This is really nice, but maybe you want to sit there and load up a magazine for 15, 20 minutes and then unload it in 30, 45 seconds. And that's where the 110 round drum magazine comes in. Now, you guys are not gonna see that I'm going to load this magazine up. I really thought, oh man, I'm gonna love this magazine. It's, it's got this nice, Catch here on the back so that, that as you load it and, and twist it, it's easy to, to load up. It's a well-built magazine. My problem with it is, is like I said, it takes so much time to load this magazine that in the time that it takes me to load these two magazines and unload them, I'm still not halfway through with loading this. So I just kind of spend more time with my 22 round magazines than my 110, but if I was ever in a situation with friends that have kids that want to sit there and shoot and I really only want to limit the amount of rounds, I may go and use this and say, hey, you know, there's a hundred rounds in there, go at it and then kind of call it there. So 
this is kind of a way that you can limit how much because you know kids aren't going to want to sit there and load and if you don't have these out there it's not easy for them to load so we'll throw this back now before i go and load up another magazine i do want to kind of go over some of your comments i saved a few of these i was very very shocked by how many people love this review first off we had a 92.7 percent like on this video on the first look with nearly 18,000 views so you guys really like this gun and the comments on this have been nothing but great and there have just been a few that some people want some comments that they want addressed so we're gonna go over that comment one is the fake suppressor removable no while you may be able to take it off you really don't want to do that it does affect the alignment of this gun and you can hurt your gun if you remove it two is there a binary trigger for this gun no and the reason for that is, is that this is a popular gun but it's not a gun that everybody has more people are getting it because it's a great gun but it hasn't reached the level of binary trigger and i don't know that gsg wants you to pull that trigger apart because the way that this gun is designed they really made some interesting choices. Does this gun feel like a cheap plastic or is it hefty? Well, it is plastic. It's a plastic gun. It is not a, a polymer gun. It is not a, a high quality, you know, this is, this is what you're gonna carry out into battle. But it's a great gun for anybody from young kids to adults. As I sit here, I love this gun because it's just fun to shoot. With the big magazines, the ability to throw optics, throw everything onto it right out of the box. Yeah, it's a cheap plastic feeling gun, but when you start shooting it, you kind of forget about the trigger being plastic and being spongy and being... Because you're not worried about that. You're not sitting here going, well, man, I'm taking this gun out to the thousand yard range every weekend. Because that's not what this is. This isn't a Voodoo Works um, 22. This isn't a bolt action that's designed for precision. This gun is meant for plinking and having fun. So yes, it feels cheap and it does feel like it's plastic, but that's not a bad thing in this case because you're not gonna be sitting there going, oh, this gun's gonna break. We've had this for well over a year and honestly, my biggest gripe is cleaning it for a spring, which we're gonna talk about in a bit. Does this need a tax stamp? No. Since that's not a suppressor, it's just a barrel shroud. It's meant to look like it so that we can reach our 16 and a half inch for it being a rifle. So not anything other than just some metal to make it look pretty. And honestly, that's really all the comments that we have that were needing to be addressed in the video. Things that people kept asking over and over again. Is the barrel or is the, the suppressor removable? No. It's not, no, you're not going to be adding a suppressor to this. No, you're not going to be really changing this gun up more than you see it. Yeah, you can add stuff to it, but it's really meant to be the way that it is. Now, we did make one interesting observation while we were setting up for the shoot today. My Kof Jaeger tripod goes and grips and squeezes right here. For whatever reason, by doing that, it changes the barrel harmonics enough that we couldn't actually get the gun to stay zeroed. So once we pulled it out and put a bipod on it and put it back on this table and re-zeroed it to what actually is at zero, everything stays on target and works. As you could hear in the video, we were able to hit all of our targets. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna load up this magazine and we're gonna continue shooting. Now, while I'm loading, I will talk about this optic that you see on top. We did have a different optic. We've actually had about four or five different optics on this gun over the course of the last year, seeing really what works for us. And I finally determined that I have this Firefield Impulse 1 by 22. This is a red and green, um, no magnification sight. I think it works great for this. It is a $50 optic. It's built well enough that it's 422. Now, this can withstand the, the use of a 308 or a shotgun for staying sighted in and not breaking apart. However, it's a $50 optic. Do I trust my gun, my 308s, or my shotguns with a $50 optic? 
For me, no, I, I do have better optics for that, but for 22, this is an outstanding optic that you can pick up in the link below from Amazon if you guys are interested. Now, before we go and blast through this last magazine, we are going to talk a little bit about cleaning. Cleaning's fairly simple. You do need to have an Allen key to pop the, uh, the this lug out that keeps your um, bolt, but there's a spring. Let me show you that spring here on the screen. You have to be very, very aware of this spring when taking this gun apart. It is the spring that doesn't allow you to shoot this gun without a magazine in it. Now you can remove it and that's fine. You can deal with it and not have to worry about the gun not firing if there's no, no magazine in here. But if you want to keep that safety feature in, you've got to keep that spring in. And the way that they designed it, that spring is not retained in any way. It just kind of lays in there when you're taking the gun apart. It likes to fly, so be aware it's a pain. One last cool thing, if you are putting this in your case and you want to take it home and keep everything all in one spot, magazine sits in the stock like that, so that way that you can keep it all together. Alrighty, let's go and dump these 22 rounds, shall we? So this gun is a little bit dirty from shooting it over the course of the last few days, getting ready for this review. So it's been having a little bit of a hiccup and needs to be cleaned thoroughly. We just haven't done that, so that's what that little hiccup was. Honestly, what can I say? I love it. It's not a, a gun that I'm going to be depending on for anything other than enjoyment. Uh, $50 optic, whatever the price is currently, as I don't know due to COVID. Having a gun like this in your safe is great for the wee lads all the way up to the 90-year-olds. It's a great gun. It's not super heavy. It's not something that you're going to be going, oh, lugging this around sucks because, again, it's plastic. The metal components that are in here are lightweight, so... Small kids can carry it, and if you want to throw a bipod on it, sit it on a table and shoot. Well, that's how I like to shoot. Overall, I highly recommend getting this gun. We're going to go and do some B-roll for you before we close out, so you guys can really see this in better detail. All right, now let's talk about the specs of the GSG-16 carbine chambered in 22 long rifle. Now, it is recommended that you use high velocity. However, we have been using standard velocity in this rifle, and it has worked so far to this point. This rifle comes in at 34 and a quarter inches when the stock is fully extended, and 28 and a half inches when it is fully collapsed. It does come with a 16 and a quarter inch barrel with six grooves. The weight of the rifle unloaded is 5.84 pounds with a 5.5 pound trigger. It is a collapsible stock with four positions and it does have extra magazine storage on it as you have seen. We have the two 22 round magazines but the GSG 5 slash 522 stick and rotary magazines also work with this rifle. It does have an ambidextrous charging handle, quick acquisition front and rear sights, a Picatinny rails on M-Locks, and the frame is made out of polymer. Guys, I'm Atticus James with GivesOfGuns.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you guys are notified every time we put out a new video. If you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more content, go down below. Go click these videos over here so you guys can see more cool stuff. I will link the first look here so you guys can check that out if you haven't already seen it. Also go and check out all of the links below with our Reddit, LinkedIn, Facebook, all the other cool things if you guys are interested in seeing more content from us. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.